Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be an installation video and I'm going to show you how you can install GNU Radio Companion in Apple Silicon. Uh, the MacBook that I'm using is actually MacBook Air uh, which is M1 MacBook Air M1 2020. It has 16 gigabytes of, uh, of uh, DDR4 RAM and I think 500 gigabytes of hard drive. Uh, since Apple has moved from Intel to Apple Silicon and to install uh, GNU Radio Companion on Apple Silicon, you need a different type of installer. And the easiest way that I have found that a GNU Radio works on Apple Silicon is just go to your Safari and just simply type Radio Conda. And I think the, the last video I showed you, I also use Radio Conda. This is probably the easiest way you can install uh, a GNU Radio Companion on Apple Silicon. Just scroll down to this, scroll down. Everything comes pre-compiled. Every support of different uh, SDR devices, like from Adel and Pluto SDR all the way up to RTL SDR dongle is there. Just simply go here. Uh, last video that I showed you, we use Mac OS x86-64 for Intel. Now for Mac OS Apple Silicon, they have these two different versions. So I'm gonna show you how you can install it. Just simply click here it will the package will automatically start downloading since I've already done that I don't need to do it so what I'm gonna do now uh, I'm gonna go uh, it's already in my download folder I'm just gonna walk you through the process I'm just simply go to my finder and I'm gonna go to my download folder and I'm gonna just simply double click on it once I double click on it this will start uh, giving you this particular error just go to OK and go to your system settings and go to security and uh, where is it privacy and security and go to open anyway just click here open anyway and use password type in your password in my case i have one two three four and now the installer will automatically start just open just click open just follow through this process go to continue agree agree install and this should start installing radio conda uh, that comes with GNU radio companion that comes with everything all the drivers that you need for your apple silicon macbook uh, m1 m2s and m3s uh, so while this is actually being installed i'm going to plug in my um, I'm going to show you a demo as well uh, using my hack RF, uh, which is right here. I'm going to show you a demo of my hack RF. I'm going to connect that with my uh, uh, laptop and I'm going to show you a demo. So this laptop, so I'm just simply going to, because since it has USB-C, I'm using a USB-C hub. And I'm just going to simply connect this to my USB-C port. Once this is connected, you can clearly see this is powering on. I'm just going to simply plug in an antenna. And we're good to go. So we're still waiting for it to complete itself. And let's just wait for a couple of minutes. So now the installation has completed. I'm just going to hit close. And I'm going to keep this for myself. And now uh, we're going to go and see if this thing is installed or not. So just simply go to terminal. I'm going to go to terminal. And I'm going to type in GNU Radio, GNU Radio Companion. And I'm going to hit OK. Let's see if my installation was perfectly fine. There was no error doing the installation. If my GNU Radio is properly working or not. As you can see, everything looks good. Here we go. So once I look at it, gonna radio. Everything comes pre-compiled for Adlum Pluto SDR. You have all the drivers for UHDs. You have Osmo SDR source. Everything that you need in order for you to work on it is perfectly there. So now let's just instead of making a flow graph, let's just um, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my shell and I'm going to open a new window. Okay, so when you download or once you have completely installed your uh, GNU Radio Companion, GNU Radio Companion also comes pre-compiled with GQRX. So I'm going to check the functionality if everything has compiled perfectly without making a flow graph in GNU Radio Companion. I'm just going to simply go to my terminal and I'm going to type in GQRX. Since my device is already connected to it, as you can clearly see, my HackRF is connected. Now this will pop up and you can just simply go here select an iq device and i have already my hack rf has already been connected just click ok and i'm going to hit a play button once i pick up hit a play button i have chosen a frequency of 935 megahertz i can see that uh, i am getting signals at 935.6 megahertz so so this is how you actually do it in your macbook or macbook pros or macbook airs which are actually m1 based and this is the simplest way you can download GNU Radio Companion in your MacBook Air M1's uh, Apple Silicon. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.